Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Throughout the Harry Potter series, we were introduced to a whole whack of professors. Some were great, some were boring, some were jerks, and some were the vessel of the Dark Lord Voldemort. Today I'll be talking about my favourite professors from the series, and one member of staff, I made an exception, don't hate me. So put on your robe and wizard hat, it's time for the Top 10 Professors from Harry Potter. Number 10, Severus Snape. Here's the thing, I don't like Snape. <laughs> I know it's an unpopular opinion, but any teacher who thinks it's appropriate to horrendously bully their students, particularly Harry and Neville, is a jerk in my books, regardless of their heroic deeds. JK Rowling herself has said that Snape is all grey, not a pure hero or pure villain. He's not the great hero many make him out to be. That said, Snape is unquestionably an important character and a rather powerful wizard and teacher at the school. He's the potions master and head of Slytherin House, and is respected for his prowess in both potions and defense against the dark arts. Although, in his case, his defense against the dark arts was basically, if you can't beat him, join him, then leave him, but pretend to keep working for him, while bullying children. Number 9. Cuthbert Binns. Professor Binns was the history of magic professor at Hogwarts who was left out of the movies completely and I'll be damned if I'll leave him out of my list too. Binns was known as being the most boring and most dead professor at Hogwarts. Wait, dead? Yeah. Those of you who didn't read the books might be a bit confused. But Professor Binns is actually a ghost. He taught well into old age and one day fell asleep in the staff room and never woke up. But that didn't stop his ghost from continuing to teach his boring ass class. Binns was pretty significant, especially in the earlier books. He was the one who first told the students about the Chamber of Secrets. I was sad to see him left out, so I'm glad to be able to talk about him now. Number 8. Sybil Trelawney. Ah, Professor Trelawney. Some hater, some hate her slightly less. Let's be real, she was annoying and vastly incompetent, but as a descendant of the seer Cassandra Trelawney, she was gifted with the second sight. While this usually went unnoticed as she rattled off a bunch of baloney about tea leaves and crystal balls and whatnot, she did prove herself capable of making true prophecies, as she did with Harry in the divination classroom. Personally, I'm with Hermione on this one, fortune telling and card reading and everything is just mumbo jumbo, but you have to give her props for actually being a seer, even if she doesn't really know it. Number 7. Poppy Pumphrey. Okay, this one might be a bit sketchy because she isn't exactly a professor, but she's such an awesome member of the staff that I had to include her. Due to the propensity to getting injured that Harry and the gang showed in the books, we saw a fair bit of Madame Pomfrey, and we got a great glimpse at her attitude, which was hilarious. She was super strict, not afraid to accost even McGonagall or Dumbledore if they broke her rules, and after Harry broke his arm, she was wonderfully outspoken against Lockhart's idiocy. Madame Pomfrey was an invaluable member of the Hogwarts staff, and she's just well. Number 6. Pomona Sprout. Professor Sprout is a herbology teacher at Hogwarts and the head of Hufflepuff House. While she is often overlooked, I'm a big fan of Sprout. She's super chill, always on the right side of things, and her work with herbology was quite important in the events of the books, helping to defend the Philosopher's Stone with a Devil's Snare and healing the Basilisk victims with the Mandrake Root. Sadly, we don't see a ton of Sprout in the books, and even less in the movies, but I'd be remiss if I didn't include her on this list. Number 5. Remus Lupin. While his time at Hogwarts was rather short-lived, Lupin was probably the best defense against the dark arts Professor Harry had. I mean, to be fair, that's not saying much considering he was competing against a vessel of Lord Voldemort, an incompetent braggart, a Death Eater using a Polyjuice Potion, and Satan herself, but he was still pretty great. He took a great liking to Harry, largely because Lupin was great friends with Harry's parents, and while his stint at Hogwarts was brief, he continued to fight the good fight as a member of the Order of the Phoenix. Number 4. Rubius Hagrid. <laughs> As if I'd leave Hagrid out. Hagrid took on the Care of Magical Creatures class when Harry was in third year, and he was a favorite professor to many a student, and many a reader. Not only was he totally lovable, but he was really quite knowledgeable when it came to magical creatures. <laughs> he did perhaps put too much faith in his students, like with the Monster Book of Monsters, but his heart was clearly in the right place. Plus, I mean, come on, he's Hagrid. Of course he's going on this list. It's just too bad he's so soft-spoken, because he gets pushed around way too much. Show those Slytherins who's boss, Hagrid. Number three. Phileas Flitwick. Professor Flitwick was a small and charming charms professor at Hogwarts, as well as the head of Ravenclaw House. A lot of people underestimate Flitwick, but he was a hugely important part of the books. First and foremost, he's the one who taught the kids many of the charms that they used to fight against Voldemort and his Death Eaters, so there's that. But he was also a super powerful wizard back in the day, having earned the title of Master Duelist and even becoming the dueling champion for a time. Don't let his size and pleasant demeanor fool you. Professor Flitwick ain't nothing to f uh, mess with. Number two. 
Albus Dumbledore. While most people just see Dumbledore as the headmaster of Hogwarts, he was also a teacher back in the day, having taught Transfiguration for many years before taking on the role of headmaster. Dumbledore is definitely the strongest wizard on this list, being a master duelist, defeating Grindelwald, and even founding the Order of the Phoenix. Dumbledore was ever a mentor for Harry, and even though it turned out his plans for Harry weren't exactly as positive as we'd always hoped, he was doing it for the greater good. Plus he was gay apparently, which really has no bearing on this point, but hey, there it is. There's a magic wand joke in there somewhere, but I'm not touching it. Oh, Number 1. Minerva McGonagall There are a lot of great professors at Hogwarts, but my personal favorite is without a doubt Professor McGonagall, the deputy headmistress, transfiguration professor, and head of Gryffindor House at Hogwarts. While in early years many of us weren't particularly fond of her because she was so strict, she later developed into a really likable character. Sure she was strict, but she clearly cared for her students and had their best interests at heart. Going back and reading the books again as an adult, McGonagall consistently stands out as one of the most even-minded and good characters in the series. Plus, Maggie Smith is amazing. and. That that moment when she brought the statues to life was just way too adorable. <laughs> That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. Who's your favorite professor? Let me know in the comments section down below. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie, Lafergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.